What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, Boogie298 coming at you live once again through the power of the internet. And my loot crates have been uh, piling up since I broke my arm because I haven't done an unboxing in a little while. So I figured I would get through some of them today. I want to show you my three favorite crates. That's uh, Loot Gaming, Loot Crate, and then of course the massive oh, Loot Crate DX. Before we get started, let me remind you, by the way, you have till the end of this month to enter to win that Mega Crate that I won and opened last month. It's a smart home Mega Crate, a lot of cool stuff in it. I'll include the link in the description box below. Click on that link and enter to win, and good luck. I hope you win it. So let's start off with a basic crate. Um, I believe this was the July crate. Oh my goodness. And it's got not one, but two t-shirts in it. All right, here's t-shirt number one. I just realized I can't hold it up as high as I normally would. I can try, but with my arm still broken, it's kind of tough to do. But there you go. That is Ant-Man. Oh, God, I love this shirt. Does that mean the other one is going to be Wasp? The other shirt has to be Wasp, and then right? Of course, it's Wasp. All right, these are great shirts. I love these shirts. Aside from my button downs, pretty much my entire wardrobe is provided by Loot Crate. Thank you, Loot Crate, for making me the mega nerd. Now, with two t-shirts for 15 bucks, I don't think you can expect much else in here, and there isn't much else in here. Here is Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, most excellent picture frame. I'm not expecting much from this. And I'm right not to expect much. It's basically a photo frame like this. You can slide your photo in back in there and make it look like you're in the phone booth with Bill and Ted. Oh, one other smaller item in here. Some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles magnets. That's kind of cool. Those will look good on the fridge. And then there's this month's pen. So a really basic, basic crate. But I mean, with two t-shirts, you can't expect much. I would... I would almost rather just always have two t-shirts and a couple of small items than one t-shirt and three small items. That is a much better way to go, Loot Crate. Next up is Loot Gaming, and I will say, as a gamer, this is almost always one of my preferred crates. It's just, it's, it's just so much better than the basic crate because it's all gaming stuff. All right, this is this month's t-shirt, and it says, Uncle Vlad's Wall Chicken. Is this, is this a Castlevania reference? That has to be a Castlevania reference, and if so, that is awesome. I love it. Here we have a smaller item. It's a Halo cookie cutters. And if I'm not mistaken, I think they also gave these away in the Halo crate at one point. But you can make one of the guns. I'm sure one of these is Master Chief. Would one of these be Cortana? Probably not. I'm never going to use cookie cutters, so I don't, I don't know. This is kind of kind of lame. Now here's another cloth item. At first, I thought it was a... Fl fl oh, it's an apron! This is a Skyrim apron. Oh, my God. Look at this. Oh, it looks like I'm in Skyrim armor. Okay, all right, all right. This this I like, this I will use when I'm baking my cookies. And then here's a pair of socks, and these are Bioware socks with all of the different, um, oh, what are they called? The salts, I think is what they're called. That's actually pretty cool. And then here's this month's pin. It's wall chicken, of course. With Loot Gaming, you always get a poster, and I hate that it's a folded up poster. Man, it's a nice poster this month too. It's Skyrim. If it didn't have all those creases in it, I would hang this up, but it's not like I'm in a dorm room anymore. So I can't really hang it up. It's still great, though. And then finally, here is my favorite crate. Always my favorite crate, because it always has the best toys and collectibles in it. And that's what got me into Loot Crate to begin with. That's Loot Crate DX. It's expensive, but it's almost always worth it. Starting off with a t-shirt, the DX shirts always feel a little softer and a little nicer. And this one is apparently Wasp and Ant-Man related as well. Really hard to show it off with a broken arm. Wow, that's a nice shirt, though. Yeah, that is a gorgeous shirt. I really like the shirt. So if you like mugs, there's almost always a mug in DX, which is pretty great. I have a lot of really great mugs. This is a stacking ceramic mug set. Probably ant and wasp related, I would bet. Let's see. Okay, no, I am pleasantly surprised to be wrong. It is an old school art. The Incredible Hulk with an old school art Captain America. And they stack... Oh my god, there's got to be more, right? There's got to be a Complete Avenger set. I need the Complete Avenger set now. Damn it! All right, some licenses are a hit, some licenses are a miss. This one's a miss for me. This is Power Rangers. Metallic Limited Edition 5-pack team-up. Hmm. All right, there's all five of them here, and they're little chibi figures with this little sticker here in the front. That's kind of cool. I don't really know anything about Power Rangers. This is after my time, and I never really saw the new stuff. They're okay. I, I, they, they say metallic figures, and they are painted to look metallic with kind of a shiny feel to them. They are definitely not metal, though. This is just cheap plastic, but they're all right. Hmm. And finally in the box is this hand towel set. 
for Adventure Time. I never got too deeply into Adventure Time. I have a friend who is, though, and I bet they would love to have them for this apartment, for their apartment. These are really cute, though. I might keep these, actually. I might actually keep these. And then at the bottom of the box is this month's pen, actually, and it's the best pen they've ever given us. Look at this! It's three of my favorite characters from The Princess Bride, according, of course, including, of course, Andre the Giant, who is an inspiration of mine. I, yep, it was worth it just for this pen. It was worth it just for this pen. And that's what the three most popular, most subscribed to, and of course the three loot crates that I get every month look like. A bunch of really great t-shirts, some decent hand towels, some decent socks, some cool toys, a couple mugs to drink out of, and a few collectibles. Let me know what you think. Which loot crate is the best? Do you like any of them? Do you like all three of them? Which one do you think is worth the money? Which one do you not think is worth the money? Let me know in the comment section below. While you're down there, don't forget this video is sponsored by the folks over at Loot Crate. So if you use that link in the description box below, go to LootCrate.com slash Boogie2988 or use coupon code Boogie2988. You'll save 10%. I'll make some money. But no, you never have to do that to support me. All you got to do is just come back next month and watch me open mine. And don't forget that link to the Mega Crate giveaway. No one's won that Mega Crate yet. You've still got a few days to enter to win. I hope that you do enter, and I hope that you do win. Until next month, guys, though. Thanks for watching. I love you very much, and I'll speak with you again soon.